So, slightly intoxicated in the Alcatraz bar in Zagreb. But I've met the barman Antonio, and tonight he's taking me to a little bit of a street food place where they do Croatian fusion Thai food. This could be interesting. I'm going to check out this little street food um, place. And Really excited about this one. That is something I've got to see. Love it. This is Zagreb and I'm heading down the main high street and I'm coming to Postala and this is where you're going to find some fantastic street food. So let's go and have a look at what's happening here. <laughs> so here I am, little street marker in Zagreb. Antonio, say hello Antonio. How you doing? And he's told me we're going to get some uh, Croatian Thai fusion food. I'm going to have a look at this. Really excited about this one. Uh, they give me a little bit of a tip to start off with. Amazing. Wow. That's strong. Yeah. This, is, this is going to be interesting. Yeah. I'm really excited about this one. That is strong. And your name is? My name is Mike Mikhovic. So I'm talking to Mike, the chef here. He is actually the owner here. And uh, he's telling me a little bit about the street food here and how it's developed. And so how did it start? What was the main thing that made you uh, want to do it? The main thing is... Did you love your food, obviously? Yeah, man. We all got fired. We worked together like seven years, three of us. Yeah. So we all got fired in COVID time and we said that it's enough for yeah. work, wait, or just to improve, to help improve this somebody. So we just start with something small to be a little better with the... And why, why the Thai fusion? Why Croatia? Have you been to Thailand? Uh, yeah, it's not classic Thai fusion. It's uh, first is when we start with was more a bit, a bit of the Asia fusion. Uh, right, okay. So it's spicy. It, because it's in the train, we didn't have money, so we just said yeah. let's go and cook Asia yeah. food. Asia food, everybody now eating that. Yeah. And uh, eventually, then we will uh, when we get up on the legs when we will uh, start to cook my food. So it's yeah. now this time, and uh, the big plans are for summer, next summer, of course. Yeah. And sorry, your name is again? Mikhodi. Mikhodi. So Mikhodi's talking to me. He doesn't want to be on film, which is fair enough. It's un totally understandable. We're chefs, and uh, <laughs> it's just the way it is. But Mikhodi's telling me a little bit about his restaurant and the food, and it absolutely sounds fantastic and amazing. My kind of person, my kind of people, and I'm going to try this fusion. He's recommended the um, katsu sando, um, which is marinated. I don't know. I'm going to try and it looks really exciting. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. Check out it. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Uh, let's do now. What do you want to do? Do you want a beer? I'll have a beer, yeah. We can like uh, test beer. It's here local. All beers we have it's uh, from small local breweries. So the main course in this project is just to uh, help other young people who is uh, now in the beginning of the jobs and get connected. I'm going to now to cook you. Cool man, thank you very much. And what is this? This is the uh, so this is the katsu sando you were eating. Wow, look at that. It's a suri mayo. Bloody amazing. Katsu sauce, yeah. marinated chicken breast, coleslaw salad. Is that, is that mine or yours? A little bit of fried onions. Wow, look at that. A bit of Furikake, we are making a homemade with the nori algs, wakame algs, yeah. shiitake mushrooms, bonito, so it's like full of the nature MSG. Wow, 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 oh, wow. oh my god, thank you very Cheers. much. God bless you. Similar, a bit of different, different texture, different uh, spices, a little bit more spicy because the problem in Croatia, a lot of people eat less spicy food. 
Yeah. The so Croatians don't really eat spicy food, do they? It's yeah, a very, it's very it's difficult a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And uh, this this meal, especially this meal, uh, help us to, to survive this beginning. Oh, really? And yeah, I, this like your, and this is your basically place it, for the it, it, it's chicken and what else? It's a classic what we are everybody from the West civilization eat home. Chicken, potato, cabbage, yeah. bread, meal. Wow. wow. And, just and these are sweet potato fries. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. And then the topping is? The topping is uh, <coughs> fried onions, furikake and uh, mayo. And uh, okay. katsu sauce. And what's this? What's this Cheese. Herbs? With the herb, the herbs here. What Cheese. Are they? Cheese. Cheese. Chives. 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 Okay, fantastic. Yeah, brilliant. Wow, what a combination. Thank you. Well, Enjoy the meal. Thank you very much. So there you have it. Straight from the chef's mouth. I'm so excited about this one. I'm going to tuck in now and tell you what I think. Because as they say, proof of the pudding is in the tasting. So much going on there. So much going on there. Um, wow. An amalgamation of so many different flavours. Chives, chicken, sweet potato fries, mayonnaise. It's all happening like a little explosion in your mouth. Um, amazing. What I'm going to do, I'm going to eat this and I'll give you my review afterwards. But I'll tell you what. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Pork loin, sandwich. Yeah. It's a uh, sous vide pork loin, bean salsa, so everything is changing. Really, does this have cheese in it? Yeah, it's not cheese. Really. What kind of cheese? Smoke. Smoke cheese in there as well. What's going on. Amazing. <laughs> Bloody amazing. Bloody amazing. Yeah, that's the power combination in this street food. What kind of bread is this? It's a milky bread. We just put a little bit of the brown uh, <laughs> brown butter. Yeah. And then you know put the it on chicken is chicken pan here. Pannier chicken. Penko, yeah. Penko bread. Um, yeah. And uh, first it's like, it's a... Uh, but I don't, uh, in this chicken I don't put uh, too strong marinade. Because I want a chicken flavor. Yeah. Because chicken sandwiches in the uh, last one year and the next two, three years will be a big trend, especially in LA and all that uh, block, so... But the secret thing about doing this chicken, especially chicken breast, so not to make it dry, so it's nice and moist, and you've, you've done that. It must be, it must be. And first of all, fresh, of course, it's chicken, like in every old ingredients, but it must be nice to eat because if it's uh, dry, you just want to go home. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, from the beginning, when we opened this year, yeah, we sold like 8,000 of these ones, so people like it. 
I'm not surprised. Yeah. It's really, really good. Definitely. Really lovely. Pivicu imaš, pivicu imaš. Hvala puno. Can you tell me something, something about this dish? So here is the corn tacos with uh, fresh marinated tuna, a bit of the ginger uh, mayo, wasabi, uh, <coughs> pickled daikon and uh, onions, like a little bit of microgreens of coriander and furikake on the top. And what are these, what are these little, what's it on? It's on a corn taco. Corn taco. Yeah, it's okay. a real, we are buying the fresh from the Brazil, from the Mexico, so... Right, okay. yeah. Wow, it's absolutely amazing. Thank you very much, my friend. So I'm also going to try this tuna uh, sort of thing. Oh my god. Yeah, it's like an orchestra of angels dancing on my tongue. Amazing. Fucking good. Yeah, there you are, 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 if you're hungry, even if you're not hungry, you want to eat more. You know that food that just makes you want to eat and eat and eat? This is it. I will leave a link below this video on their website, how you get to them, how you find them. If you come to Zagreb, this place, well worth it. Street food at its best. On this occasion, I cannot fill my, I cannot finish my meal because I'm stuffed. Absolutely stuffed. Not because it's a bad meal. Because I'm stuck. But, wow. If I eat any more, I'll have that over full up feeling, which I don't really want. Because I've enjoyed this for what it is. Amazing. I'll leave links below. Come to Zagreb, check this place out. You will not be disappointed. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so Mike, what is this? This is just uh, some components on what we are doing. It's not a range, you see it. It's like a braised short, braised ribs, uh, Korean cut, a little bit potato salad, uh, and uh, light kimchi ferment. Light kimchi? Yeah. Fantastic. Cabbage. Yeah, again. As I say, prepare for the pudding. Tasty. So this is the Korean ribs. And look at that. Do you know what I love? The fat on there. That just speaks volume. I know you people are healthy. There are people out there who are healthy. But if you want flavor in your meat, it has to have fat. Um, there's no two ways about it. Otherwise, it's going to be dry and absolutely tasteless. And if you want that, you might as well just eat a piece of cardboard. Okay? So, yeah, some nice fat on the meat. Call me unhealthy. Maybe I'm gonna have a heart attack tomorrow and die. I don't care, because I love my food. Food for the pudding. Okay. Oh my God. You know what? When they take me to the gallows, I say, 
what would you like at your last meal? That's on the menu. That is on the menu. Definitely the dog's daggers. Absolutely fantastic. Wow. Amazing. So the Kai restaurant in Zagreb. Do you know what? When you see such enthusiasm and passion coming from a chef, you just know you're not going to be disappointed. And I certainly was not disappointed on this occasion, you know, from my uh, tuna corn tacos to my uh, chicken katsui, my short, slow cooked rib, marinated rib, absolutely amazing, amazing food. Really loved every, every little bit of it. I'm going to give them a big fat nine on this occasion because I don't give tens, but they certainly do deserve a big nine. I mean, the service and a big thank you to Chef Mike and all his team. You know, my bill came out to about 10 pound, including my drinks and everything else. Well worth it, well worth it. If ever you're in Zagreb, definitely visit this little place. Um, yeah, so again, a uh, th big thank you to Chef Mike and all his team, and wish you every success in the future. Uh, this is Chef's Travels, I'm Kevin Hanson. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, see you on the next one. Cheers.